All right, well, new tonight, Noblesville schools announced recommendations to improve security at the district. Yeah, the announcement comes weeks after a government opened fire in a seventh grade science class, but the plan was finalized in the weeks before the shooting. News 8's Eric Feldman joins us live from Noblesville with what changes we could see in the near future. Eric? Good evening, Mike and Brooke, to a room packed with parents. The Noblesville school administrators talked about some of these changes in detail, one of them including putting more of a stress on mental health education, on mental health training, as well as mental health support. It would also get rid of the portable classrooms in the district, and that drew a huge applause from the parents, at least 100 of them to my count, that were in the room tonight. Another big one is that there would be a school resource officer in every single school for Noblesville schools. Right now, there are four that would go up to 13. Parents overall appreciative of the presentation. Still, some left with questions and concerns. One parent was brutally honest, saying that he believes the school district was lucky this time and that the school needs to take action to monitor students who could be a danger to themselves or the community. I'm concerned that there are more ticking time bombs still in our Noblesville school population of whom you as a board and administration are aware and that these individuals pose an immediate and serious risk to the students and staff of our schools and indeed to our entire community. There are a lot of opinions on what should happen next. In fact, the school district put up a list of some of the emails they've gotten with some completely conflict conflicting one another, some in favor of metal detectors, others not. Metal detectors is still something that the district is considering, but right now they're doing more research to see if it's a good idea for them to possibly go forward with it. The district said tonight that it believes that safety, not cost, is the number one priority, but still both go hand in hand. There are still some more recommendations that could come to the table, but still money is something that they address. They talked about how they're going to be looking for local, state, federal grants and resources to help fund some of these initiatives and there's still the possibility that there could be a referendum on the November ballot to ask for some sort of tax increase to pay for what they're talking about. We'll have more uh, of what they talked about coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. I'm live in Noblesville. Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.